What's up? Hey everybody, I'm back with my walking treadmill and cute little pink mic. All thanks to my sister-in-law for the cute little mic she got us a couple years ago for Christmas. Still have mine and definitely putting it to good use. So sometimes gifts just work out that way. I would have never thought to get myself something like this, but it's definitely paying off right now. So anyways, whew, trying to get my steps done. Um, kind of far behind. And the reason for that is because I've been taking the weekends um, more seriously in terms of relaxation. So, um, so yeah. Naps have saved my life, and I highly recommend. So, um, where do I begin? So we all know, or we've all heard, scientifically proven that cat naps, power naps, whatever you want to call it, give us a, a mental reboot. So that if we, you know, have gone eight or so hours in the day and there's what, like 10 to 16 uh, total functioning hours of the day before you go to bed, then how the heck do you expect to only be able to, at the most, get about eight hours of sleep a night if not less for most people, and terrible sleep quality for that part, for that, uh, yeah, part two. Um, and then expect yourself to go all day without needing a nap. Like, I don't know how people do it. I actually think that's kind of the reason why some people go insane. I mean, for example, like, I know I just recently m made a video about my my dad's homicide, and I think what led or what propelled him to making bad life choices was just the fact that, like, he wasn't able to rest. Like, on top of that, you add in a layer of having addiction, and, like, you just never sleep. When you do, you sleep for a couple days to sleep it off, and then you go and find your next high, and you start the whole cycle all over again. You don't sleep for three days, and then you sleep for three, and it's awful. And when you just have a consistent circadian rhythm of sleeping at night, being up at during the day, your stress levels stay consistent, you know? Maybe you have a stressful job. Maybe you have life stressors. But for the most part, you're not in fight or flight mode all the time, right? So I, I get about seven to eight hours of sleep, and man, am I, I'm out. And when I wake up, ding, I'm awake. Like, I woke up at about five yesterday, woke up at about five today, both on accident, really didn't even try, but normally I wake up for work at about four, so I can get in my workout and leave home by 5.30 to get to my job and start working by six in the morning. And then I get done at about two. And by the time I'm done working at work and I get home, I'm pretty exhausted. I mean, I don't know how people do it. Even I sleep about eight hours, seven to eight hours a night, and I still need a little pick-me-up nap in the afternoon to get me through the rest of the day. So. Now, like the weekends are a little bit different. My, my, you know, my boyfriend and I, we both like set the intention, all right, no alarms. We're sleeping in tomorrow and on Friday night. We fully plan the weekends to just rest and relax, wake up naturally, and, you know, we should feel our best. We go to bed at eight, and boom, I'm up at like five, ding, <laughs> like as if my alarm went off or something, and can't go back to sleep. So what do I do? I go get some work done. And before I know it, my partner's awake. And before I know it, things just need to get done. The day has started. 
and then out around like one or two that's when I start to get tired Whew, and I'm starting to sweat oh it's not summer yet it shouldn't be that hot yet Whew. and yeah before I know it it's like 1 or 2 p.m. and I just can't rub any more brain cells together I'm so I'm just so tired and I just feel negative about life and I'm just like you know what probably just because I need a nap and so I just went and took an hour-long nap and man I feel so much better um, I feel much more motivated. I feel a lot more clear-headed. Kind of just like a really nice pick-me-up. I didn't need food for this. I didn't need caffeine to feel this way. Just needed some water and a nap. I'm back. I'm back to work, man. So I am real curious, and that's kind of why I'm making this video also, is to get a feel for how other people are affected by this too. I know that a lot of people feel that daily crash and stereotypically that's resolved with coffee or food or whatever and that's what you're doing and you still don't feel like it's working for you. Try a power nap and if you are already taking power naps and that's helping you let me also know, you know, we can be the nap club. <laughs> so, nappers unite. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Napping has saved my life. As a daughter, as a child of someone who has, has had really bad addiction problems, I feel like I am, me and my siblings are the generation that cures or changes that. You know, there's a lot of addiction on that runs in the family and so I just feel like we're the generation that's breaking abuse and addiction and I feel like one of those things is just taking naps super easy super simple great way to just reset um, your body your mind everything it's kind of just calming and stabilizing it's huge that's a good word for how that makes me feel. It's very stable, level-headed, organized, and ready to set myself for real success. Bye, everybody.